let's take a quick look at a system that's having some issues. Getting Corsair IQ to detect and control the lighting on an MSI motherboard. Okay, so the X570A is an MEG motherboard, so according to MSI, it should work. MSI states if you have an MEG or MPG motherboard, you should be able to utilize Corsair IQ to control the lighting for that motherboard. It's RGB headers. All right, so basically, we're going to put what we have that works continuously through this video. So just try to copy those settings. For anybody else watching, in this scenario, Apocalypse already has IQ and MSI Center installed. On that particular system, so they have an RGB strip plugged into one of the motherboard headers, and they're able to control the lighting of that RGB strip with MSI Center, but not with Corsair IQ, even though it is showing up in Corsair IQ. So we should be halfway home here. All right, so the first thing I would do Apocalypse is go into MSI Center, open the Mystic Light module, go into the Mystic Light settings, top right, and then from within that tab, disable overwrite RGB and power saving settings. Just disable everything in there. We're going to disable the same thing in IQ, but it seems like they mean two different things. In this case, we want Corsair IQ to control this hardware. So disable that. Once you do that, you can pretty much uninstall MSI Center if you want to, but you have to keep the SDK installed. That way MSI Center service and Mystic Light service will remain running on the system, even if you uninstall the rest of MSI Center. That way the SDK can interact with the Corsair IQ software and Corsair can use that to control the lighting on this particular motherboard. After we do that, go ahead and close the MSI Center. We should be done in there. We're going to open up Corsair IQ. From within Corsair IQ, we should see the motherboard detected. There are some issues that can glitch out the motherboard and it won't be detected. We covered those in a previous video. We'll link that in the top right of this video. So in this case, uh, Apocalypse is stating that it's already detected on that particular system. We're just going to click the gear icon in the top right. Go down to software and games. All right, so the first thing we want to do, if you have LED Keeper 2 in blocked clients, make sure that you unblock it. You want it to be up in the active client. So if it's in the active clients, you're good to go. If it's down in the blocked clients, unblock it. And we've talked about blocking it in the past, but that was just an easy way to get it out there for system owners to stop MSI Center from taking control of their keyboard lighting. There's other ways that you can do that. This time I'm going to show you another way. So make sure that you unblock LED Keeper 2 if it's showing up. It doesn't always show up there. Sometimes it glitches out. All right, now we're going to go to the Devices tab. From within the Devices tab, we want to make sure that everything is unchecked. So we're turning everything off, kind of like we did in MSI Center for the Mystic Light module. But it means something different here. When we turned it off in the Mystic Light module, it means I don't want Mystic Light module to engage this hardware with this lighting. But here in Corsair IQ, when you turn it all off, you uncheck everything, it's the opposite. It says, I want Corsair IQ to control this lighting, so I'm turning off everything else. If you see, we have two listings here. Corsair K70 RGB MK.2 keyboard and MSI Megase Z690 motherboard. So we have two rows of checkboxes over there, software and games. So software could be like MSI Center. So if you have that checked here, it doesn't say I want IQ to control it. It's saying I want that software to control it, whatever software. So it could be a lot of different software. Like Opera Browser is an example. In Opera Browser GX, you can set the browser to control the lighting when you do certain tasks from within the browser. So even just opening the browser could change your lighting if this checkbox is checked under the software column. So we want to make sure they're all unchecked within IQ. And that's saying I want Corsair to retain control of the lighting for this hardware. If you don't have both of them listed there, something's wrong. So a couple of the other settings that we have here that seem to be working above the devices tab, we have software integrations, game integrations. We also have exclusive events listening enabled. And that's pretty much it. So Apocalypse on your system, that might be the issue that we need to get the Mystic Light module settings is disabled in MSI Center. Come over to IQ and disable these software and games checkboxes in the devices tab. And then just make sure you don't have LED Keeper 2 blocked. All right, so then everything should be working. Then we can start setting up lighting, bro. Let's go back to the home screen. So we're on the IQ home screen. We see the MSI Megase icon there. Just click that icon, make a new profile, 
come up here to the top left of the dashboard where it says default or the name of the current profile. It's that big yellow square up there with the two half circles. Once you click that, you can add a new profile. Go ahead and add a profile for now. Just call it test profile. Click the add button there and name it. From within here, you can do a lot of things. You can change the background to an image or a video. You can also link it to an app. So you can do a lot of things even from within here. That's a whole nother video. So we'll just click create. And slam dunk. There we go. We can see lighting setup is the first option. Go down to the drop box down here where it says set up lighting channel number one. And you can add lighting channels. So we're gonna just do one lighting channel. We have a CPU water block plugged into the RGB header on this MSI Mag Ace. So for your system apocalypse, you're gonna wanna choose probably RGB strip. They have two options for that, RGB LED strip and way down at the bottom of that drop down is one called external RGB light strips. So you could probably pick either one of those. You could probably even pick Hydro X, a water block. So you could probably pick a lot of the different things and this still work. But MSI has a little info box here that says use the correct product type in lighting setup to ensure proper lighting playback. Just try to get as close as you can. Not an exact science. All right, so when you click motherboard lighting, the mother, <laughs> the motherboard the motherboard lighting option up here. That's gonna show all the RGB headers on the motherboard. So now we'll click the add button under lighting layers and just choose some kind of default option. And you should see the lighting on your MSI motherboard RGB header activate and you're good to go. Now you can control it with the profile button on your keyboard as well. If you have a Corsair keyboard, keep clicking it until you get to the profile you want. Let's get, we're, we're clicking the keyboard profile button right now. And you can see it up in the top, top left, left, it's cycling through all of the different profiles. We'll look for the slam dunk one here. The test profile, there it is. And now the lighting on our MSI motherboard is color pulse on the water block that's plugged into the RGB J Rainbow 2 header. Now you can have different layers to control different RGB headers. So we'll add another layer. We'll use rainbow for that one. And if we want RGB one to use the color pulse, We'll just make sure that whatever Our lighting layer we want to apply to a header is selected, highlighted down here, and then we'll click. Huh, I think they changed that a little bit from a previous update. So in this case, the first one is always going to be on the, let's call it the clipboard. It's kind of like the clipboard within the dashboard. So just think of that black box as there's no lighting applied. So if you carry the black box up to rainbow, you can click to cycle between blank box and rainbow. So when we leave rainbow, the one that's currently selected, we want it to be on the blank box. We're going to come down. We're going to apply color pulse to that blank box and then go back up to rainbow and we can carry that color pulse up to the rainbow. I'm just going to keep doing this for a minute so you guys can see how this is working. Visual demonstration may help better than how I'm explaining it. So it was on off before. So now you see it's changing the just the J Rainbow 2 header. So right now it's using color pulse and here it's using rainbow. Color pulse, rainbow. Rainbow, color pulse. And you can get pretty creative here in creating lighting layers but we'll cover that in a future video. But that should be it. So if you were having this issue in a similar scenario, hopefully it's working on your system as well.